Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video of the day, although this probably be the first and only one y'all see on this channel. I thought I was only going to do one video, but then I got an update from Credit Karma saying that my um, new credit card was reported on my, um, you know, account early. So I went to check out my Credit Karma and sure enough, my scores have now gone up. Um, you see that I am now at 646 with one and I am at 652 with Equifax. So we're now going to click on it and see what has changed. Now this was a big jump right here. And for y'all that are new, I am in the midst of repairing my credit. Um, y'all know, um, at one pe a period of time, I fell on hard times. Um, with my medical conditions, um, I had racked up a tons of medical debt and that, you know, impacted my credit. I wasn't able to work. I fell behind on student loans. All of that played a part in my credit going down. So over the past year now, I have been really focusing and really this year, I really have been focusing on getting my stuff together. And you can see the trends from July. I wish it would show further back when I was in, at 480. Um, y'all go back to the last video that I did in my credit repair series. Y'all will see my credit score was at 480 at the beginning of the year. And then I jumped up to like the upper 500s. And then I started staying steady at 600. And now I'm at 652. And you see that I now have a new card and this is with credit one bank. I got a, it posted been a $2,000 credit limit, but they subtracted the annual fee from my, um, available credit. So it's $19.25. And then I recently purchased some TLC products with this card The you know, the use it because you don't want to just have the card and not use it because they will close your account out for that. You want to make sure you're purchasing stuff that you would normally purchase like your or you know have your light bill or something every single month that way you're using all your cards and you're paying it off you don't need to carry over a balance but the only reason why this balance is carrying over because it's reported very early because like i said i thought it wasn't going to report till like the end of the month because i literally just activated this card a, a couple of days ago so i'm surprised that it's already done a report it this early usually they don't report until like 20 some days out so it threw me off guard but that's okay so now we're going to click find out now so there y'all go y'all see my cr oh it does show the full two thousand dollar credit limit so it says report date on September 2nd. Um, minimum payment due is $30. Um, my credit limit is um, $2,000. And y'all know my first card that I got is a secure card with Open Sky for $1,000. So this is what has changed. And matter of fact, I'm going to take y'all to my credit section. So let, let's see TransUnion. TransUnion, it also shows a reported balance of $81 as well. So let's go to credit history real quick. Okay, so the one drawback with um getting my credit cards stacked up and um establishing credit, because I'm also trying to apply for business credit, and the best way to do that is to show that you can handle multiple accounts of sufficient um, amount so like i said i have the open sky account for a thousand dollars and now i got this account for two thousand dollars i'm about to open up a verve credit card account for seven hundred and fifty dollars um so that will show a grand total of three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars across three different accounts so since these accounts are new it is impacting my overall um, credit age because the more accounts that I open that is new is lowering that average so I started out having like an average of six years worth of credit age now it's went down to three anything over five it would put you in the good but now since I'm less than five it, it's impacting me but it's medium impact 
Next is my total account inquiries. I have now gone up to nine inquiries, which is fairly high. Some people will look at that as a negative. But like I said, I'm in the rebuilding stage, so I'm going to take the risk of having these many inquiries because also I just got me a car and that has not um hit my credit account yet. Um, My first payment is not due until the 13th. So I guess after I make my first payment, that will hit my credit report as well. So since I am doing a lot, um, that is all, you know, factoring into my credit. And like I said, I don't have no choice but to have my inquiries go up um, for the betterment of, you know, trying to counteract this. These are the main three that you want to worry about. My payment history, unfortunately, I cannot get this to shift worth nothing because what is really impacting me is those student loan missed payments that I had when I was sick. And, you know, Nilnet is not giving me any leeway. I tried my best to have them remove that and they are not doing it. So I might end up breaking down and going through like one of those companies like Legal Shield. And y'all know how I don't care for those types of companies, but if they can really, you know, send out a letter and, you know, get that student loan missed payments taken care of, uh, my credit score will probably jump up to like 700 because that's the only thing that's really hindering me because my credit card payments are now on time and all of that. My credit card utilization is good. I am right at 3%. Let's click on view details. So now you see that I am spending a total of $84 out of $3,000. I currently got $3,000 in credit and I've only spent $84 out of that. Um, of course, I, there's some more that just recently hit my card that is not showing and it will not show because I'm not carrying over that balance and this balance will be paid off as well. So by the time it reports next, this will be $0 out of 3000 and if my other card actually hits around the same time that it reports for these two um it should say zero dollars out of three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars and of course i will give y'all that update at the end of the month so that is an update on my business accounts once again there goes that payment history See, you re oh, you really want to be at 99 to 100%, anything less than 97%. Ugh. And the thing is this, they got it reported as 15 missed payments, but it's really only five. But since they reported it across three different sections, like, it makes it look like I missed 15 different payments when I really just missed five payments. But since they're all in, in different subgroups, they counted it three different times, so... That really sucks. <laughs> and like I said, my credit card payments is going to probably take well over a year to balance this out. So my best bet is to counteract this by just attaining more credit at this point. Because like I said, the student loans are not budging. And so the only way I can balance that out is, you know, just continue paying my credit cards on time and, you know, my car payment. So my car payment will post at the end of the month. My two credit cards at the minimum. Okay, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Like I said, this is why I don't do videos on Saturday. Because the demon be home on Saturday and just throws off my train of thought. She went back out the door. But anyways, like I said, the payment history is what's really been kicking my behind. And stopping me from really propelling. Like I said, if I can get those late payments taken off i will be in the 700s club right now um my total accounts which is a low impact i got four closed accounts i now got six open so if i can just open up one more, which i'm actually going to have because my um like i said my car payment has not posted yet so that will put me up to seven open accounts and that will put me right between 11 and 20 and then I'm opening up a card with Verve. So that will put me up to eight open accounts and four closed accounts for a total of 12 accounts. So now I will be out of this red zone and I will be in this positive. And 
Once again, it's a low impact, but it will boost my credit score up at least a few points. So to reiterate where I'm at right now on um which one is this? Equifax. I am currently 652. And TransUnion, I am at 646. And when those other accounts post and that balance goes down to zero, I am expecting to possibly jump up to around 675 to 680. The goal for me is to reach 720 by the end of the year. So that is it, y'all. Stay tuned with me on this credit repair journey. If you have any questions, comments, um, especially tips and suggestions, you know what to do. Leave it down in the comments box below. Like this video if it was helpful to you. Uh, share and subscribe, and I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.